quick sketch, pen and ink, using soluble ink, of uh, Lynmouth Harbour, North Devon in the UK. This is all going to be very quick, so no colour like before. I might add some colour later in that. I'll, I'll change my mind as and when. So I'm just going to start in a relatively random place. Not quite sure why I started there. And that may backfire on me because, oh dear, yeah, that's gone too far already. So I'm going to be very nice and quick. Try and keep my lines a bit wibbly wobbly. A bit more character and less architectural drawing, more of a sketch, which is what we're aiming for here. This is very sketchy indeed. It's not too bad. Okay, I liked a little small and a little higher up, but. That's where we are, and that's what I'm doing. I did read what the st structure was, but I've completely forgotten. I'll put some notes in the description. not bothering too much about detail just getting the main features down doorway I'd love to explore up here it'd be great but it was all locked up and we come down to top of the wall doorway. This is a small tunnel that you can walk through to get to the rest of the harbour wall. Nice dark shadow there. The rest of the structure. I need to kind of maintain vertical and horizontal and slightly horizontal, slightly pointing lines rather than doing squiddles, which is I have a tendency to do when I'm rushing. Okay, so that goes on to the Continuation. Some rocks. And I think we'll leave the person there to this. That'll do, that'll do. Okay, so we need to give um, a suggestion of bricks on the surface. I'm just filling some of these dark areas. So I'm going to apply the wash. Yeah, so when I apply the wash, we, there's plenty of ink for it to work with. Quick sketches often have a lot of character, but my quick sketches also have lots of mistakes. Try not to worry about them too much. It frees you up to enjoy doing the sketching rather than messing around trying to fix those fine details. You can always do it again. Oh, 
obviously I'm not going to do all the bricks, all the stones in the, in the side of the wall here. And there's some of the more prominent ones. That's a, strangely a big one there, isn't it? And some the rounder ones and darker ones and lighter ones and just big amounts at random. Nobody's going to check. To vary the size and the... I think that's possibly enough. This, this area here is... And up here and up here is all really crying out for some colour. So maybe I'll just do a splash of colour on that area. Right, the, the, the bricks on this side, on this face here, aren't as distinctive. So I'm just going to put some suggestions to help with the, uh, the perspective and the texture. So I have a tendency to jump a little bit, so I'm Try and concentrate on one area before I move somewhere else. Let's leave that there. That should be fine. That's a slightly darker side. So you probably see some of the ink up there to wash down. Put some darker ones in here. Move into the the wall. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna I'm not going to put much, I'm not going to put any detail in there really. A bit of texture, a suggestion. Uh, there are, there's lots of dark pieces there, but I don't really want that to be the focus. So I will disguise it by not giving any detail. I'm going to leave this at the bottom as well. That's going to just fade to white. Because it's not important. That's not why I'm drawing this image. I'm going to leave the, the life the life boy. I'll draw it in. Another bit of red. in the background. I'll just leave that to as a, sh as a shade and the sea of course. Can't forget that. I'm amazingly I've done that on a slope. Blood. I pretend it's the sea in the start of the land. Fix that uh, silly error. Just work a little bit on the top here. Some staining, give it a bit of texture, a bit of character. A few suggestion of more regular bricks. Almost done. I mean, generally with the brickwork, the, the mortar is much lighter rather than you'd say. You should be drawing the bricks rather than the mortar, but it is quicker to draw the mortar. Nobody's going to notice. Okay. That's. I think, for the first part of the sketch, is it. The 
start with a nice dark area here. And you can use the ink from here and pull it down into these to do some lighter bricks. And work on these darker areas too. So this is this is black. Of course, I we'll never do complete black, but uh, I may work on that a little bit more. Too much I haven't got a tissue with me either. Bad planning. regular that so I'm just gonna go Wah! down the middle there. How's that looking? I think I need to let that dry. Then we'll work some colour into it. Give it a bit more depth because it's turned very flat. Okay, so I'm going to concentrate on a bit of colour first. I'm just going to wet the air, these areas. I'm going to paint. Oh, I forgot. About I forgot. Of course, you can. I'm going to spread lots of ink everywhere. But yeah, I'll see how it goes. Of orangey, bit of red, darken it down a touch, although we've got plenty of that. I gotta go with something quite strong because it does fade when it dries. Let's see how that goes. Badly, I guess. Not entirely sure how that's gonna work out, but it's all about experimenting. I'm going to try and lift up that little bit. That's just creeping into the area there. Well that worked didn't it? Right, tissue time. I should try a dry brush rather than a big soggy wet one. There we go. That's better. I almost look like I know what I'm doing now. Amazing. I said before that it, it looks a bit flat, and that's because there's no contrast. The, the darks are just not dark enough. So instead of using the wash, so so much for just doing a uh, an ink wash, I'm going to. Use this random. Uh, I think one's Payne's grey. No idea what the other one is. But the dark. So I'm going to use them. I'm just going to go, go through and highlight these very, very dark areas. Highlight? Low light, I guess. It's very risky playing with these uh, areas, especially when it's still wet. I should wait. And now, in the doorway, we get a nice sharp shadow back. That's better. A bit risky going here. I'm just going to touch in on the wet areas and spread. Okay, 
How's that looking? Definitely dark, huh? In a good way? Yeah. Very difficult to say. Actually, I forgot. Of course, we've got the, uh, the bright orange and red. Orangey red. Of the uh, life boy. Quite as bright as I hoped for. Bit more interest. It's kind of a little bit of texture to that. A bit more to there. Big mistake. Oh, I don't know. You just don't know, really. I'm going to leave that there. Bit of a squiggle. And let it dry. I'll do a pot of sky in. Sky or no sky? I always put a sky in. Okay, I'm going to do a very basic sky. I'm just going to whack some water in. Get some blue, throw it on there. Try not to mess up by touching the existing paint. Okay, I need to get some more blue. No idea what these colours are. They're blue. I'm sure I could do a better job if I knew what kind of blue it was. I think that's blue as well. There we go. Bluish. Oh, purple. Ooh, that's blue. Right, I'm going to throw that on. Try and remove the error of my ways there. Oops. I'll run out again. A bit more pigment. And as it is a seaside area, I'm going to flick some paint on there. Give it a bit more. Right, that needs to dry properly. I'm going to come back, touch it up, and leave it. Here's the final touch-ups that I need to do in order to uh, restore the integrity back into this image. I'll start with this doorway because we lost out a lot here with the uh, soluble ink basically going everywhere which is kind of a good thing. Do a very good job of this area. The size, the proportions aren't right at all, and the angle. But hey, I can always try again. I'm going to leave it there. I will just make a mess, I think. Um, let's move on. Learn from my mistakes. My mistakes, I should say. 